All right, hello and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. It's Friday, it's a shorter stream, but uh, you know what? We'll have fun all the same. So yeah, uh, last time we sort of continued our quest to unlock the questing mace. Because uh, apparently it takes a long time to do so. And uh, also unlock companions. So look at this, we got, um, we've got our, our platinum, um, your card and we've got our platinum uh, magician card now which is awesome um, yeah it ended up that uh basically in, in Malclips's quest we had to we had to amputate his arm there was no actually actual cure and he replaced his arm with a magical glowing glass arm just badass so yeah uh, now when people hit the magic shield it actually does damage to nearby enemies so that's pretty damn cool but yeah, so we actually reached a part where I, I'm not going to be doing the tower. Normally I would use the tower because you can reshuffle the map and it's super easy to just infinitely continue on the tower. However, we've reached a situation where we need to go back to the devil. And the reason being is because the questing mace requires us to defeat a wraith. There's one guaranteed in devil if you refuse to give the... Um, Cure or whatever it is, the magics to um, uh, Thelophius, the uh, the sort of shade that um, tries to help you out. So, we're actually going to be doing two very interesting things in this quest. One is that we're going to unlock this. The other is I didn't even realize we had a soul gem to identify. Uh, and the third is Mark of Damnation, which basically gives us a side quest to basically do Philophius again. Now, the cool thing is, normally at the end of the Devil, it actually, like, comes to pass that you... You basically need to finish this mission using Lost Sands, um, or, or the Desert, I think it's called, where you basically have to travel across the map and you can't get to the end unless you have that card. However, the only other way to go is to go to what the uh, the actual devil of this mission, which is the uh, the, the rich guy. I forget his, his name, but um, Papillion or something like that. And uh, he, uh, he gives you a last game, but where it's all failures. So instead, if we get this to work, we'll actually have a huge success. And we'll have to see how that changes the story. So I'm actually pretty excited for this. However, before we go in, I think... I mean, I think we're okay. I was thinking maybe it would be good to put in, like, the spiked mace or something. Yeah, why not? We'll put the spiked mace in there just so we're, like, ready to go. Because we'll be fighting mostly, um... Empire guys until we actually hit the uh, the guy we need to kill with the uh, questing mace. So we should be alright. We've uh, set ourselves up with a lot of blessings and the dwarven haggler, the little devil. Um, the only other thing I think is maybe it'd be a good idea to get... Well... You know, I suppose the blessings don't actually matter technically. I'd rather have equipment, to be honest. You do like that treasure. one, don't you? Mystical Island's nice. Uh, Rate of Prevention's kind of nice, too. I like Stirring in the Mire. Stirring in the Mire is pretty excellent. Um, and I also like Town of Corruption. Oh, where's that other guy? There's, like, the, the guy with the weird eye. I forget where that one is. Hmm. Pacific? Yeah, here we go. Hired Hand. Yeah, we can get Hired Hand to help us. He gives you uh, a bunch of stuff as well, so let me see here. Let's do Stirring and Liar instead of Hired Hand. That should be pretty good. Because, yeah, we don't... Technically, you need to get, like, certain things, but, um... um the Lord of Pillion will actually give you the things that you need, so let's do it. Excited. Alright, now we've done this quest before. 
numbers, so I'm not actually going to read everything, but I'll try to summarize it as best I can. Basically, our campaigns are kidnapped in four different situations. So our first is uh, Ari, who's stricken with, uh, with a plague. And we need to collect four blessings in order to cure her at the High Priestess. And of course, you only have two cards, so how, how are you supposed to get four blessings? Technically, you can, because you can start with two blessings, and you could possibly land on something crazy. Perhaps this time you'll cut a better deal? Oh my, I don't even think I can do this. Let's see. Uh, trade for an angel's feather. Ellen. Oh yeah, what does this do? Can be used to revive a companion. Soul gem's pretty interesting. Cool. Good no. Hey, Standard, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, I'll, I'll trade this. Nonsense that Soul Gem isn't anywhere near as valuable as my genuine angel feather, the dwarf declares. We begin negotiations. We kind of need to get this, which is a bit of a problem. Darn. But yeah, so we're actually trying to gain, like, what's kind of weird on this level is we're... There's the angel feathers that we're going to gain normally. So we're going to actually have two of every item, which is kind of weird. We'll have to see uh, which shade we end up uh, going for first. All right, let's continue. Hey, say Wolf, how's it going? Good to see you. We're doing the devil level. Uh, with the change of story this time around, so I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen. Alright, now unfortunately we've got a very hard haggle to work deal. with, because we got to get the angel's feather. Um, and yeah, I'm going to trade the soul gem. Oh <laughs> yeah. Alright, let me see here. Hey, Enlister, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh boy, people fall to success. Oh, that was nasty. Did anybody see that? That was tough. I almost want to say one or two. But the cards can be tricky. You lost it after one shuffle? Yeah. Nah, it, it's tricky because you assume that somehow the card's going to slide to the other side. And sometimes it just goes like that. So it's, it's, um, tricky sometimes. That's what cheese is for. Go three. <laughs> yeah, Enlister. You know what? Oh, it was four. I was, yeah, I was, I was just, you were, you were closer to it, Enlister, than I was. Darn. I need that angel feather, so unfortunately this is the way we gotta go. Imagine if I, if I did this without cheese. I'd have to play the entire level realizing I'd have to play all over again. I'd hate my life. <laughs> that, that would just destroy me. Cheese! Cheese for everyone! <laughs> yes. Exactly. In the words of the true mad god, Shogorath. All right. Perhaps this time you'll cut a better deal. All right, everybody, eyes peeled. Ooh, um, I don't think it went to one or two. I think it's three or four. Because I saw the first and it kind of went like under. Of course, you guys are kind of seen it opposite to me, but. I almost want to say three or four. The, sh the third shuffle is definitely the hardest to um, sort of do. Did you see four? All right, let's go for it. It was one! Oh my gosh, just... <sighs> These cards. 
Wait, what, Emerald Lord? End of fate. If that's what you call your girlfriend, I mean, you know, I'm not judging. Um, perhaps this time you'll cut a better deal. All right. All right, come on. All that success. Oh. I almost want to say three. Gosh, this is such a pain in my ass. We should almost like restart the mission just so that I don't have to do this right away. Because at this point, we're just gonna be doing this until we get lucky with this. <laughs> the tool wielder. It was fucking fun, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna forfeit. I'm I'm not even I can't even right now. It is your choice. It's too early for me to be doing this. You have, or you can attempt to be worthy of this one. Yeah, let's just not have that card immediately and hopefully get some sort of equipment that'll help us out. check my equipment to make sure that we actually have stuff that's available. Yeah, that, that was that was a pretty crappy start. We do have wide beam, slow shuffle, shuffle less, slow swing, and avoid failure, so we should be alright. Yeah, we should be fine. We just need to get those first before we get to that card. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right. That is. <laughs> All right. There we go. This is a little bit better. All right. So this vagrant is going to allow me to get one card. So this what is uh, shuffle slower. That's shuffle less. And that's avoid failure. These are all great cards. Um, I think shuffling less is more important for us first. So the third shuffle won't happen. What's the gimmick with the devil? The gimmick with the devil is that you essentially have to rely on some benefactor, this, this guy, Lord of Pillion, three times. The fourth time fails the level. You have to find a way to the end of the level without him. Or you have to do what I'm doing now, which is sort of a secret that you unlock afterwards. But yeah, so it's sort of this guy that you keep having to rely on for like absolutely impossible tasks. And the fourth one is is guaranteed failure, unless you're trying to do what I'm doing right now. But yeah, let's do this. Alright, it's just the vagrant. I'll take it. That's a lot. That is a lot on my own. Um, yeah, I will take the Necromancer's Call. Shit. I was not expecting that. Um, I mean, this mace will definitely work. They're just knocking down my skeletons. <laughs> there's, there's just oh god. Oh, not him. 
him. Yeah, that skeleton really didn't help out. Yeah, no. charge your weapon even though you're not doing damage to him it still didn't do damage but attack too early wow I actually took no damage during that mission wow that's nice. I wonder, there's probably an achievement for not taking damage in an entire, like, mission. That'd be interesting to get. Alright. Nice. Don't have enough fame yet, but we'll get there. Alright. So yeah, this is uh, Lord Apillion. And basically, he's the one you have to, um... Like, get help from. Basically, every level. Because you have to, what, get... Four blessings on the first map, 40 fame on the second map, and 150 gold on the last, or the third map. And then the last map is basically instant death if you try to go for him. The gambits get harder every time you meet him. Ah, fallen treasure, nice. Lord's died then, that's good. Let's enter the cave and take the equipment. I know, <laughs> the, the mace landed in a very strange place. Patience, do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Yeah. Fame alone has got you here. When did Let I get action bullseye? carry you forward. Uh, apparently I got bullseye. Oh yeah? Let me take a look. Actually, is spiked mace or questing mace better? Uh, Spike makes it better for right now. Yeah, but it does look like... Yeah, I have Bullseye and Soul Gem equipped. Interesting. Yeah, don't have enough blessings. Can you reach the end of this challenge before you starve to death? Time will tell. Alright, need two more blessings. That's the Grey Traveler. Alright, so we have to go to Apillion. Oh, I'm running out of food. Explain that you lack the blessings required to visit the High Priestess. Oh, and the Lord card? Oh, really? Okay, I didn't even realize it. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, true, yeah, he gives you a random item, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, just to start off being a nice guy, right? Alright, accept the Gambit. So, in this case, it's actually better to try and follow the Failure card. So that you don't choose it. Guardian Angel. Oh, Guardian Angel is so good for this level. Score bonus 2. Oh my gosh. The Gambit Helper. Slower spin wheels. Freaking A. What an amazing amount of cards. Alright. Nice. And gained enough fame that we can wear that. Shuffle less. Lord's died them. That'll help us for uh, against the devil. Um, the little devil, that is. Alright, she cures Ardene. Nice. Alright, and then I think this is when we learn that uh, Malclips is going to be burned at the stake. Illicit trade. Alright, so I think we grab the Ring of Concentration so that the cards shuffle more slowly. Nice. Beautiful. 
That should really help. Except, you know, we have to fight like a freaking army. Oh, if you guys could vote for B, that would actually be um, amazing. Because I'm about to run out of gold. Actually, I do have some gold. I might be able to buy some, but uh, B would actually help me out a lot. Although, you know what? That's one of those things where, could I buy more food? Camp to buy more? Maybe. I don't know. I have to look at- let me look at the camp, and we'll make that decision, but yeah. Ooh! He does kick ass, though. Oh, so there we go. Nice. Yeah, 16 gold for three food. Right, right. We'll camp now and, and figure that out. My food! Hey! That works! But yeah, let me check this out. I, I prefer the food, to be honest. Uh, let me see here. Trade for food. It's almost a... Well... I mean... Nah, I'd rather have the food and save the gold, to be honest. It's kind of close. Ah, oh, the Grey Traveler. So yeah, uh, strike the creature from behind! To get the, uh, the Devil's Horn, the first ingredient that we need. Nice. Hey, Teradax, how's it going? Good to see you. Ah, uh, Gambling Hansel! Now, I forget, um, I think if we get out of the way, we get something really excellent for this. I Get out of the way. The soldiers first pass you and take Hansel down, sending a steady stream of coins on the floor. Uh, this guy's loaded, one of them claims. Eventually, the coins stop falling and the soldiers, plus some of the other patrons, sent on collecting as much treasure as possible. Hansel used the commotion to escape out a side door as a few coins roll your way. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Alright, the rest of the night the crowd is in a jovial mood with uh, much food and wine consumed into the early hours of the morning. There's Lord Apillion. And yeah. It's fine, we'll make our way back. Have to go to Rumstock and see what's going on. Approach the village. Malik was basically being held for trial. We need 40 fame in order to convince the town not to burn him at the stake. Confess that you don't have enough uh, clout to save him. Accept another gambit. Uh, no, we're fine for now, Ari. Continue. Thank goodness for Guardian Angel. That is an amazing blessing. Alright, so it'll bring me up to 40 fame. Alright, approach the village. Call me a hero. Gain 8 more fame and save Malclips. 
And then we learn that Kilborn has a ransom of 150 gold. Which, of course, we can't do on our own, so we have to go to Lord Apillion again. Thanks to the food, guys. You're, you're keeping me alive. Alright, Town of Corruption. We go Mask of Holy Fortunes to avoid a, a, a failure. That'd be nice. I won't equip it right now. Alright, defend the villagers. Necromancer's call? Yeah, let's have some extra dudes running around to help us defend uh, the villagers. That'll help. Make sure to save these villagers because these guys will just like one shot people, so you gotta be careful. Hey, go! Hey, get away from them! I friggin' Ari took that him down by himself. Holy shit. Yeah, looks like my skeletons are, are really helping out. Yeah, I think all the villagers survived? I thought there was a- yeah, there was another one shooting a rifle. Yeah, they're all good. Nice. One of them looked like they were really dead, though. Excellent. Friggin' big beam. Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to do Poorly that. Poorly done. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. Okay, so when you try to strike the, uh, the corrupted figure that rises, the guy looks at you in disbelief and then rage. That was my child. He tries to stand but exhausted from grief. It sends him crashing to the ground. He spits at your feet while muttering in a tongue you do not understand. And he draws a dagger and cuts his palm, saying, May dark dwellers bring me retribution. All wheel gambits rotate in the reverse direction. Alright, man. Just chill. Ah, the Great Traveler. Um, ask what's required next. Alright, he needs blessings. Alright, we got to choose some blessings here. So, we'll give him Death Die. Necromancer's Call. And Fate's Path. That should be enough. And now we still have three more for the other one as well. General store? Do I have enough to uh, buy equipment? Nah, not really. Let's leave. There's Lord of Pillion. We'll let him know that we don't have enough ransom gold. And then he'll do another game of cards. Oh, um, no, I should have switched something. My bad. Alright, well, it's this one. Nice. And again, give me 150 gold. Now, those are free. The last one is the one that kills you. Alright, approach the markets. Pay the ransom. Yeah, I need to switch to the uh, to the other di yeah the other diadem right. And high treason. So this is the weird map. This is this is basically the gimmick of this level. You need to either have some sort of teleportation card because that's the end of the level, or uh, there's also the desert, which basically puts cards across the entire board, and then you have to travel across this the desert in order to get there. Because when you go to him for help. There's no successes. Unless, of course, you put the cards in the deck that I put in, which should allow you to do this. Yeah, the, the equipment that gives you slower shuffles and less shuffles really make a difference. It's true. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we're going for, Teradax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a ring on us that'll basically summon Thelophius. 
uh, a second time, and uh, it's it's pretty badass. Another general store. Uh, you know what? Let's buy some food, actually. Ooh, this is actually cheaper than camping. Yeah, I'm going for it. I don't want to starve. I'll leave. And gold nice. Dwarven Haggler. Alright, we have to get Angel's Feather. Alright, now what can we trade? Now we're better at shuffling now. Wait, can I go back? Oh fuck, I, I messed it up. Shit, I thought I could go back to my inventory. Give me a second. Because yeah, I, I could really use the, uh, the other helmet in order to do this one. And then we need another demon's horn. And that'll give us the huge success blessing. And then what we need to do is for the Thelophius on this level, we need to refuse to give him the potion and drink it ourselves, and then he'll become a wraith, and we'll fight him with the uh, questing mace. And we'll have to see how this level ends. Alright, so... Inventory, we know to switch to the Mask of Holy Fortunes. And you know what, since we're here, I'm actually going to switch to the questing mace just so it's ready. Alright. Here's the Dwarven Haggler. And this is the one that we put in. Yeah, so, so basically the way that this works is if you go to him, he provides you a gambit. And notice that every time we've done a gambit with Lord of Pillion, you have less successes. If you go to him now, there's no successes. You fail and you become a slave for all time. <laughs> but, we're actually gaming the system because you actually got a very interesting artifact during this level. Where you get a blessing that always puts a huge success in any card shuffle. Alright, so in this case... I think I still want... I mean, we could give up the Lord's Diadem, I suppose. Um, we still have, we still have to get the Devil's Horn. I think, let's give ourselves a better chance. Yeah, and give this up right now. Alright, Lord's Diadem is finding good, but it's, uh, no, not a patch on an angel feather. Right, well. So I'm going to follow, this is what, this is going to be really weird. Yes, exactly, and that's what this game is about. That's what the game is about, is these levels can be can be really tricky, and the idea is that you unlock new cards with the tokens that you earn to basically rig the game in your favor, exactly. That's what adds the sort of customizability to this that's really cool. Is there's a certain amount of cards that the levels themselves have, and then you use your own cards to make it easier for yourself. So, what's going to be weird here is one of these is going to be marked as a failure. I'm going to follow the other card. Yes, we have to bamboozle the bamboozler, exactly. So one of these is going to be a failure. I think it's going to be that one, so I want to follow that one. And it's one of these. Nice. Alright, convince me, let's trade. We have an angel feather. The devil horn. Alright, now that's the one that the Lord's Diadem would have actually been good with, but that's okay. Uh, attempt to steal his horn. Oh gosh, this is actually a really tricky one. I the forgot pendulum about this. swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. Oh yeah, in the end, didn't I say that it's better to daredevil this? Shit, it was just about to happen too. We figured out yesterday that it's actually good to uh, to daredevil this and actually just do it by ear. But my timing got ahead of my ear there. We should probably do it as soon as possible because they're actually grouped together kind of nicely. So we're going to do... Yeah, yeah.
Hmm. We'll have to see something. Alright, I'm gonna try to do this by... You the pendulum. fucking shit. We'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I sold the item that it would have actually helped us have a slower swing speed, so... That was my bad. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta cheese it. This is the cheat, like, bottom of the barrel. Get the, get the scummy cheese out of there. And just really dig in and writhe in it. Sounds awful when I say it like that, but that's what we're doing. You're <laughs> right, right. The pendulum's a very tough thing in certain cases, especially in this one. There we the go, holy crap. swings like a scythe, bearing all right. hope or failure. We got the devil's horn, so I think we have all the things we need, so I'm gonna camp. And we're gonna use the artifact, Mark of Damnation. All right. And then provide the uh, spell components. Nice. And now we have Eternal Hope, so a huge success card is added to every card gambit. What secrets do they reveal? All right, and break camp. And I guess this is. Wait, do we have another feather? Hmm, how's this gonna work? Ah, so he provides you with the thing, so... Uh, trade for an angel feather. Oh my. A huge success on this, I wonder what that's gonna mean. You managed to convince the dwarf that the feather is probably fake, probably cursed, and you offer to take it off his hands uh, if he pays you. My bad. Yeah, you know, I just gotta invest in some sort of equipment to uh, go right from analog to digital without going through um, a fucking... It's the USBs. USBs are fucking trash. I hate it so much. If it just went into my computer like a nice friggin' analog jack, there'd be no problems. The mic is fine. Even, even the machine, the Scarlet 2, is fine. It's the fucking USBs that are just utter trash. Dwarf is out of sight when he suddenly is beside you. That dwarf was never such a valuable prize in his possession, and perhaps never will again. Uh, but now it's time to get the spell completed. Glophius takes the feather and adds to his spell concoction. The vial gives a silent, uh, bright flash and then turns to normal. At last, Glophius cries in excitement. After all these years, I'll be set free. You lunge forward to reach for the vial, but Glophius is already opening it. That will set you in good stead from here. No, Philophius cries as you uh, wrestle the vial from his grasp. Please, mortal, you don't understand. This is my only chance for freedom. So, normally, I would have given him the contents of the vial, and that would have unlocked the, um, like, the gold token for this level, and I think that also unlocks the, uh, the Ring of Damnation that we got. So instead, we're gonna drink the contents, and he'll be a wraith that we fight, which will unlock the other thing. For the mace. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh, and we get... This is... Oh my gosh. Two eternal hopes on the same level? Yeah, I have the mace equipped. Yeah. Right? Yes. 
No, Falofius exclaims, you have condemned me to eternal torment. Yeah, it was either fight this guy or do that fucking potato level asshole guy. Desperate for salvation, your ally has turned against you. Wraiths can drain life uh, with an unavoidable spell. Attack them quickly to drop the effect. I was thirsty, bro. <laughs> the questing mace. Nicely done. All right, death is no release for me. Philophius whispers as he fades away. Um, as soon as it won't be for you either. All right, so now we have. Are we gonna have two huge successes when we go to him? We'll have to see how this works out. Alright, you return to the fine mansion of Lord Apillion and are granted by an immediate audience. Uh, you say that another of your friends fell is in peril, Lord Apillion remarks. How fascinating. You relate the detail, um, as to Estrella's situation. Uh, we live in a dangerous times indeed, Apillion says, shaking his head. You know what, let me just... I want to see something for a second. Give me a second. I have, I have a theory. I want to check this out. Oh gosh, what the fuck was that? Hmm. I was going to see if I could, like, flip it vertically or something. Yeah, yeah, let me... I was trying to see if the, the horns on his beard made him look more like a devil, but like if it was one of those weird upside down things. But uh, it doesn't seem to be one of those weird upside down things. Well, a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, I was just seeing if like a devil's face got revealed if you uh, turn it upside down. All right. <laughs> yeah. How does your, um, how goes your quest to save Estrella, Lord Apillion asks. Ask help for rescuing Estrella. Um, it is no trivial thing you wish to gamble, uh, for this day, Apillion says, looking concerned. Uh, even I cannot sway the Emperor's decision on your friend. And helping you intervene would be a rather, te um, tantamount to, re uh, to treason. Uh, perhaps I will, uh, perhaps if you win, I could give you the means to rescue your friend, Apillion concedes. But if I were to make such a gamble, then you must risk, uh, something equally significant. Apillion leans forward, fixing you with his gaze. If I win, you must serve me until I release you, or until I die, of course. Apillion smiles softly at the suggestion. Well, champion, Apillion asks, uh, clearly eager to begin the game. Are you willing to gamble, um, one life for another? Except, Apillion smiles wickedly and deals the cards. Okay, so. Okay, so it looks like it only applied once. I could technically get two huge success cards. However, that would be six cards to keep track of. Let's try it. I think in one or two. 
It's tough when you add like six cards to the whole thing. All right, I, I don't, oh gosh. Um, two, all right. Oh, it was one and two, nice. Apillion uh, sits silently for a moment, glaring at the cards before turning to in anger. You cheated, how did you do it? Tell me what magic you possess. You gain eight fame. The room falls uh, into shadow as Apillion throws the table aside with a flick of his wrist and advances to you, on you. Flames erupt uh, from the hearth as Apillion seizes you, declaring, I must grant your prize, mortal, but uh, know that I will not forget this. Uh, the world fades to darkness. The Empire nice. has stood in your path at nice. every step, yet now there is no velvet over the iron. They Hell would kill yeah. you to achieve their goals. That was perfect. Awesome. I'm always a big fan of, like, the, uh, the, like, really rules adherent, like, demonic figures in, in fiction. Because it is so funny. Because literally you're entering, like, a verbal contract and sometimes, um, like, you know, uh, written. But it's so funny because they will uphold their end, but you just have to be careful about the gamble. Because it includes your soul, or your life, or your eternal life. Pretty well. well that's awesome. Uh, you awaken later, uh, just out of the side of the Empire Fort with various items of potions scattered around you. Uh, you gather uh, what, you, uh, what you can as the Karen bird suddenly lose interest uh, in you and fly away. Yeah, yeah. And when you beat them, they're pissed off. <laughs> right. All right. We got the Mark of Damnation back? Okay, that's a little awkward. Hey, Lord's Diadem. I'll equip that since it's better defense, actually. Oh, I will actually wear Gladiator's Visage instead. That's much better. A hundred life! What? What? Okay. I'm calm now. Uh, well, armed and feeling invigorated, you approach the fort. Uh, a call to arms rises from the walls as twin ballistas stall your advance. Ooh! Ooh, that's why you needed that card. Oh. Oh. Ew. Uh, the Imperial soldiers block the path ahead. <laughs> you look invigorated. <laughs> Oh shit. That's that's why you need that. Ah shit, it's a knight of steel. These knights of steels are nasty. They have like some wicked like travel with those two swords. They uh they do those two unblocking attacks that you're careful of. And of course I'm doing this by myself, so cool. Like, who the hell is this guy? Oh, damn it. Crabs towards the empire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey. Zoidberg's actually a uh, level 13 rogue in D&D. &D. Um, with the birds, uh, 
already feasting on the greater part of the fort's garrison, you gain easy access to the fort and locate Estrella in her cell. Uh, took your time, she says with a crooked smile. You briefly locate difficulties um, that have beset your other companions as you exit the deserted fort. Uh, I overheard uh, the warden say someone gave them information, told them right where I was going to be uh, the day they ambushed me, Estrella says, pausing uh, to relieve the fallen soldier of his weapon. It sounded like someone had a lot of clout. I went to a lot of trouble in organizing all of this. Uh, you're making some powerful enemies. Yeah. Alright, for defeating a wraith with the questing mace, we get... Questing Mace 8! Return of the Mace. Alright, let's check out Questing Mace 8 then. What do we have to fight now? Ah, we have to fight mages. How many mages? Three mages. Oh, we can do it in the tower level. We just have to hit the huge failures. Right when the lightning effect was off? Nice, nice. But yeah, um, USBs, they're utter trash. I wish there was a different way to input stuff in my computer because this happens. It's like, oh, you suddenly unplugged something even though it's still plugged in your computer. Oh, that's fucking weird. Uh, do we need anything specific for this? It'd be kind of nice to have the spiked mace, but I'd rather just have the questing mace equipped and uh, probably start with the gold. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lord nice. Alright, so, um... I don't believe there's, like, combat against mage cards. Yeah, it's fighting an ogre. So, actually, let me go back to... We specifically need equipment to help us with shuffling. So don't need holo purification. Uh, and we have mask holy fortune, so that's actually perfect for this. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Zoidberg smash. Pretty happy with everything we got here. Not gonna be using a different weapon, really. I got a pretty cool helmet there. I dig that helmet. Oh, you know what would be nice? Um, if I can't get it, I really do like having. Uh, I guess gluttony. that card is one of your favorites. I don't see the appeal. Yep. Cool. All right, and then in this case, it probably just. Any kind of gain equipment card would be the best for us. Oh, uh, yeah, what did the underneath do? We, we tried to identify that last time, but, um... I didn't really see what it did, because I couldn't get the, uh, the food thing. Alright, let me take a look. Where did he put it? Get Ari's quest? Yes, get Ari's quest. You're absolutely right, because we're going to have Ari with us. Right, that was part of this as well. Good call. Uh, but yeah, we, we did actually find it last time. However, just stepping on it actually identifies it, which is pretty cool. However, I have to find it first. The underneath is a shop and a tavern? Gotcha. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, 
Uh, Spurring in the Mire, Street Fighter. I still wish there was something where you could, like, favorite cards, because, like, these are all, like, my favorite cards out here for just gaming equipment. Being awesome. Out of corruption. Easy gains. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have enough food to actually figure out what it did, like, in-game, so... Yeah. I also don't see it anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, what else should we do? Usually I go for the boar, because it usually gives us a blessing. Let me go for, uh, let me see here. It's like the easiest, like, blessing card to get. Uh, you know what, St. Talia's Day. Because we can always come across it again, anyway. Alright, cool. That sounds good. Let's do it. Oh, really? When I had the token ages ago? Gotcha. Okay, I see what you're saying. But you're right. Alright, so yeah, basically what we're doing in this is we're trying to unlock the next part of the questing maze, as well as Ari's personal quest. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I do not Wow, okay, we start off right away with this quest. Devices. Okay then. They are a sign the world has lost its way. <sighs> Ari leads you through uh, the streets of the city of a dilapidated house tucked into, uh, into a darkened alleyway. This is where uh, we'll find the first thing we need to fix Andrew's forge, a mechanical oddity. Inside the house is a distinctly uh, tidier... Uh, oh, inside the house of the house is distinctly tidier. And you are surprised by the presence of a small general store within. A young woman minds her counter. Um, that's Marion the mage, uh, Ardenay whispers loudly. Uh, Marion hears, of course. Can I help you? And uh, could you please refrain from calling me a mage out loud? Don't worry, Marion. Uh, Ardene booms. Only um, old Biddy's shop here. Um, we're here for that. Jeep. Okay, I was like, we're shopping for old Biddy's. Uh, she points at a large copper bottle, uh, studded with silver nubs, uh, resting on the counter. Uh, this is a genuine article bygone uh, dustman. It's priceless. I can't part with it. The mage hugs it to herself. Ask Marion why she isn't hiding. The Empire don't bother us uh, with the um, bother us out here in the slums, and I have a few magical potions that the people appreciate, so they don't really care that I'm a mage. I've lived in the city since I was a child. It's my home. Marion the mage frowns. I deserve to live here as much as anyone else. All right. Ask Ardene what to do. Uh, she's such a small thing, Ardene. Uh, Goffs? Uh, it'd be easy to s it'd be easy as squishing a net. Wow! I can still hear you, Marion sighs from the corner of the counter. Ardene says, "Knock her out and take it." Plus, it might be fighting a mage. Who knows? Uh, knock her out and take it. I like your style. Ari draws her hammer, knocking over the display case. Oops. Maybe we should take this outside. Um. The other customers, uh, perusing the store, step in. Uh, what are you doing? Leave poor, uh, Marion alone, you brutes. Convince them and it's okay. Oh, gosh. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Holy shit! Charisma! Victory. Uh, yeah. well, a customer says, I suppose she is a mage, so I suspect, uh, she'll just win the fight using magic. Marion rolls up her sleeves in exasperation as Ari car um, carries her outside. Nice! We get to f Oh, we've been so lucky. We fought like, what is it, plague guys when it was the plague thing with the questing mace. We were able to fight mages when this is- Oh, this is perfect! I- I wish- I wish this was calculated. We're just fucking lucky is all. Are you sure about this? That means more, one less random combat. Oh. Gotta be careful, she's doing some crazy stuff right now. There we go, nice. 
<laughs> yeah, nothing personal, darling. The mace commands me and it hungers. <laughs> the quest must be complete. I'm not quite sure if this is the heroic thing to do. Ari notes that uh, as she drapes Marion's unconscious body over the counter and takes the mechanical oddity. Uh, but you're a more experienced hero, so here. Um, so I guess, oh wait, wait. Hero here, so I guess it was. Hmm. I do not understand where this is going. We will see. Nice. Uh, now the next thing we need for the forge is, uh, Ari scratches her head and she tries to remember, a pumpkin! But it's not just any pumpkin. Stirring in the mire! Oh shit! We're probably better off fighting steel at this point. I don't like fighting thieves. If I was to like, rate like the... Like at least my personal like, ease when it comes to combat for the four factions, It'd probably be Northerner's Corrupted, uh, Steel, and then Thieves. I had the toughest time with Thieves. My next, <laughs> my next mission's to fight a Nazgul. <laughs> Fucking egg. Actually, um, they could fight like Ogres, and this is a perfect level to fight Ogres. We could fight ogres all day. I'm used to fighting ogres by now. Yeah. Boom shot! Knock him off the bridge. Alright, with the brigands defeated, notice they were having some treasure and stuff. Then I'll have to beat up the pumpkin. <laughs> nice. Hey, we got it. Awesome. What do we get? As you travel, you nice. will find fame and infamy follow you. That'll be great. Not yet, however. Ew! Who voted minus five food? It is not too late to plan Alright, I'm gonna better. approach the deer, because apparently you guys hate me. Eating a sandwich. <laughs> uh, offer it some cake. If there's any option with cake involved in this level, you take it right away. Somewhat sub for some reason, cake makes everything easier. Nicely timed. All right. And yes, haha, <laughs> the switcheroo. Our golden food switched. Ah, so here is where we need to fight mages. So, this is weird, but I need you guys to follow the huge failure card. Oh, <laughs> I forgot how fast that shuffles. I want to say three. But <laughs> freaking did did someone hire the flash to be the card dealer? Holy crap. Oh, that's a normal failure. Oh, that's okay though. We can reshuffle the map anytime, so we can just I know I thought it was 3-2. It looked like it never moved. <laughs> freaking A. That's okay. We can always reshuffle the map, it's fine. Oh, great, we're fighting by ourselves. Wonderful. Oh. Bullshit! <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> the cards are tricky in this game.
took no damage. Holy shit. That was great. You get used to the opponents after a while. Alright, one of two. I need Mask of Holy Fortunes. Now the Oh, I never had this equipped right because I wasn't famous enough. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, is it cool? How's it going? Good to see you. Alright. Continue on. Infamous. Not yet. Town of Corruption. Uh, I'll take a ring of defense. All right, <laughs> these guys aren't surviving. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be able to defend all of them. That's ridiculous. Unless I just freaking charge on in there and they'll all focus on me or else. I guess the thing I have to be careful of is watch out for the, the random people I don't see. Like that guy! Get away from those friggin' civilians, yeah. I wonder if you get like a special bonus for them not getting hurt at all. Well, I failed that already. One die guy is like totally gonna be Well, they're all alive, but barely. That's always fun. <laughs> Village massacred by maze wielding nut. <laughs> All right. Let's not fail this one, shall we? Goody. There is actually a terrible curse called Gremlins where every time you move and do combat, uh, <laughs> your equipment, one, you have to choose one of your equipment to lose. It's terrifying. Alright. Fallen treasure! I guess I'll take it, I, I guess. Breathe, you have done well. Oh, is gremlins every time you get a curse? Oh, I thought it was something else. Band of thugs, all right guys, focus on the huge failure. Gotta stop hiring this dealer. He's he's too good. Two, one, I, something. Ah, oh, it was two. Yes, fantastic. Oh, is that what it was? Gotcha. All right, excellent. We get to fight a mage. Hell yeah. Uh, one more mage, and we actually get the token. So actually very close to uh, to getting this, which is very nice. Huh? <laughs> Ari go nuts. Alright, so the, the deal with mages is they kind of want to do this weird thing. And you don't want to be right on top of them when they do that. It's also a bad idea to drive them into there. Because that does damage to you. Ah! Damn it. And you don't want to hit them with their like that, because that actually like ensnares you. Oh jeez.
recovered quickly from that holy crap. He was gonna do a big move there and then, then switch to a, a blocking one. That was dirty. <laughs> to get a token, yes, yes, the token. The ever powerful token. Alright. That's two mages. Wait, we were wearing? Oh no, you're kidding me, I accidentally equipped it. That's why it was so difficult. We still got it anyway. It's oh, thanks to the food guys, appreciate it. Uh, is it worth me going up another level? Yes it is actually, so. Uh, instead of reshuffling the map, I'm actually gonna enter the tower and use the food because we can gain a ton of gold doing this. If I didn't have like 13 more food to go, I wouldn't have done it. But yeah, one more mage fight, and we're good. I expected this was actually going to be a little more tedious. We're actually pretty good here. Okay. There we go. See, what I have to do there is I have to plug and unplug the analog digital converter, the Scarlet 2, which is fine. It works fine. It's the USB ports. I guess I could switch a USB port. Maybe use one in the back as opposed to one on the top. Maybe it's that. But yeah. The other thing is I have to go into OBS and then go from default to um, Scarlet Line in 2, which is funny because the default is Scarlet Line, so... I'm going to get some more equipment so that doesn't happen again. Approach the statue. Make a happy face. B, I'll work on that. You know, it wasn't a problem for a long time, but I can't keep having that happen. That's ridiculous. Alright. Floor on the tower. Fuck you, confused thing. Let's not get greedy, I might need it. The back ones are more stable? I could try that and see if maybe that'll help like as a short-term solution. But uh, yeah, I need to find something that goes directly to analog to digital without going through USB or something like that. Yeah, I'll try the ones in the back, yeah. All right, so no. Oh, it was three. Oh, well. I like that gold while it lasted. Infamous? Oh, we are infamous. Submit to trial by fire.
eventually just get the timing down on some of these. <laughs> We've been doing them so much. Long shot. All right. Yeah, I'm using the f the top USB, so yeah, it's probably the, the issue right there. I'll, I'll fix that. Um. Oh no, I didn't bring the spiked mace with me. Let's find out. What does she have to offer? Ah, oh, the ring of concentration. That'd be really nice. That'll make the card shuffle less and something else too. But how weird is that? Friggin' A. The front USB is being unreliable. What? Right, they're knocked directly into the motherboard. That makes sense, that makes sense. Cool. You guys might have actually figured something out to save us. Ooh! These guys are horrible at debating. If there's a huge crowd, they will absolutely go out of their way to just screw with you. Oh yeah, I forgot this is the one that doesn't stun. Freaking kill moves. Because it doesn't make any sense. Every other game has it like that. In there. I wasn't able to dodge for some reason. I got oh I got body blocks. You, know, you gotta be careful of that in this game. No, you know what, uh, I sit, I, I apologize, because I must sound like a broken record, but it's, this game is so close to having excellent combat, and there's just maybe three things that make it suck. One is, there aren't enough iframes during the dodge. The second is that, for some reason, you're not invulnerable while you do a kill move. So you could actually, like, as you're going in to do the strike, not actually when you do the strike, but as you're going into, you can get hurt then. So just, like, a few extra iframes in there. Um, I don't know. And I guess there's just, like, weird, like, animation cancellations that you can accidentally do on yourself if you're not careful. Which is kind of a weird thing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> One of two equipment. All right. Wow. Nice. Uh, let's go with Gambler's Tool. Dice are pretty hard to gambit if you don't have anything helping you. Unimpressed Farmer, he will remain unimpressed. Hey, thanks to the food guys, appreciate it. Infamous! Once more. Submit to trial by fire! I do just catch the edge of that, though. It's really scary. <laughs> Did we get long shot twice? If we actually hit the, the dice score of something, we'll get six equipment. 
Ah, Street Fighter. Uh, Fight Empire, I guess. I just need to fight one more mage, and then uh, we can do this again and do the next part of Ari's quest. Is Ari not with us? Oh no, there she goes. I was like, what? Oh gosh, of course. Freaking body blocked again. Just trying to kill his effing general. Jeez. I thought Ari was an enemy. There we go. That should be pretty decent. Oh gosh, what's his hand doing? gold. Gain equipment. Gladiator's visage. Yeah, I don't want it right now. I could switch it. St. Talia's Day. Nice. Hey, Punker Jazz, how's it going? Jazz hands. Is that a cannonball on a stick? That is the questing mace. We're murdering poor innocent mages because the mace tells us to. <laughs> Blessings of luck. Gambler's insurance. I request any blessing. Oh, Guardian Angel, fantastic. That's actually perfect for what we're doing. Oh yeah? Yeah, you know, I really want to play the uh, the, the original uh, Hand of Fate as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make that like a, like a, I might play that on my own time, to be honest. I don't have a lot of time. I don't know. It depends. Hired Hand, uh, I guess I'll pick Bullseye, because <laughs> I feel like if I, anything else, then, okay. It's going to mark a failure card? I guess it's going to mark the greed, so that's good. I like to just fight one Spire of Light. Kraken Helm? Yeah, I want to play Hand of Fate 1 uh, at some point. I, I remember watching it on Twitch uh, when it first came out. I'm like, damn, I want to play that game. And I never end up... I don't know what I was doing during that time, but I think we were like pretty involved in a series at that time. Grab some food from this guy. February 2015. Gosh, that was a while ago. Um, what was I playing in February 2000? Well, oh, that was pretty early on because I started in August of 2014. 
I was probably midway through, uh, either at the end of my first Morrowind playthrough or the beginning of my first Oblivion playthrough. Something like that. Really? That's awesome, Emerald Lord. Cool. I approach the farmer. I have enough fame that he'll actually give me food. Probably not enough to actually venture up the tower, though. So I'm going to reshuffle the map. Oh, thanks to the 25 life guys. Appreciate it. Right, explore new lands. And you can do this even when you have zero gold. So this is actually... They don't actually have indefinite mode. But this is the closest you can get, it seems. Oh, the mechanical oddity again. Oh, okay. Explore around the tower. Stirring in the mire. I need to hit one of those uh, other cards again. Yeah, fight the raiders. Yeah, shit. That was, that was some interesting times. so my reaction time is probably slower or something. Felt like it hit me right on. Are you serious? Did I actually miss him? Wow. There is some bullshit being flung around in this battle. Now normally you'd be able to repost after those, but I'm using a two-handed weapon, so that's not possible. Actually, I have a lot of cards that will help us be able to get like, the correct card. It technically doesn't even matter if we get the, the card here. Because I don't even think we have any equipment left. Yeah, it's gonna give us the basic soldier sword. We're actually getting to the point where I've actually collected all of the equipment that, that we need. Ah, here we go. Alright, ready guys? Let's do it. We need the huge failure. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Alright, that'll be three mages. Then we'll just have to see what else the questing base has in store. Oh my gosh, I hope it's not something too crazy. If it's ogres, we can easily do it on this level. We just have to watch the success and avoid it like the plague. Also, we could specifically wear like ogre protecting equipment if we needed to. is like the one ring. Yeah, 
Yeah, something like Soul's Edge or Underway, yeah, closer to that. Boom! The questing maze. One of three equipment cards. Do we get the healing spirits, the healing spirits, or the battered helm? I'll take the healing spirits. Nice. It's like running out of like, normally what happens is there's like cards here, right? And it's starting to run out of, uh, of equipment cards because you only have so many on this level. So it's pretty funny that how that orphans. All right, so we forfeit and that'll unlock the tokens without us uh, being forced to complete the level because we have to go up the tower like four times and I'm really just interested in getting the, the two cards that we need to get. All right, let's see what we got here. So we've got... For obtaining the mechanical oddity to fix Anders Forge, we get uh, the S Stygial Pumpkin? Uh, for, okay. And um, it should eventually give us something, I'm hoping. After all of this. For defeating mages with the questing mace, we get the questing mace 9. Oh, shit. But no, the questing may sh I mean, unless it is just indefinite questing, which would be... This is, you know, I'm doing this at the same time as our companion quests. Just so we're killing two birds with one stone. Alright, so. Version 9. Oh. Uh, combat against necromancers. Alright, I'll see you later, Emerald Lord. Have a good one. There are no necromancers on this level. Alright, so basically I'm being told that there's three necromancer encounters. Not on this level. Oh, oh! Oh, gotcha. Sorry, I, was, I thought you were saying night. Uh, let me see here. So. You're saying the temperance challenge. Which one's temperance again? The end boss of temperance. Is the... During the worst famine in history, unnatural power causing the... Destroy and the source of the undead. Oh yeah, there's a lot of food shortages. Gotcha. Probably the star. Uh, that's what I would think. The stars card probably has one as well. But I think that's the way, like, very end level. There might also be a necromancer in uh, the sun on the second level during the prison. Of course, you'd have to get out of the sewers first. I honestly think that could be the fastest one. If we just want to find, like, the fastest way to kill, it, like, one of those. I think the sun level might be the best. Oh, but you know what? We can't actually use the sun level because you can't have starting. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, so you can't use the star one. And the wheel challenge. Which one's the wheel? Oh, yeah, the wheel's a weird one, isn't it? I don't like the wheel one. I will try to quickly do temperance if we can. Alright, so. Ari. Uh. Encounters. Fallen treasure, street fighter, wetland ambush, listen trade, fabled beast.
Yeah, we need Ari's quest as well, that's true. Um, other than that, let me see. Resources, food. We need a ton of food for this level, so you have to be careful. Resources, food, harvest blade, Odysseus charm, armor of gluttony, uh, gladiator's visage. Gambits. Gambler's jewel, ring of conviction. Else is needed on this level? I don't think anything too crazy. Let's go with the uh, artifact here. And we have a Disease Charm, so we're good there. Resistance. I'm gonna fence, I, I dig. We can go for. Mask of Unholy Fortunes. Might go for uh, Imperial Armor as well. I don't think we're really doing shields. Healthy eating. Let me look up other food cards. That's just gain food. I think that's gain extra food when you get blessings. Alright, and then we'll start off with questing mace, more food, and anything else we want to start off with? I think gold would be good too. Alright, cool. So I'm going to try to do this mission as fast as I possibly can, because I only have like, what, 15 more minutes until I got to go to my tabletop game, so. I'm going to be rushing this one. We have to get to the boss. Ah, Thomas the Ogre. Yeah, ideally we just get all the equipment go nuts. The kingdoms of death were once pledged to Art. my throne. The usurper cares not for our old suits, however. Oh, thanks for the food. That's he gonna help. Deathless from his land. Hungry peasants. I uh, give two food. Wretched. Gives two food. Wheel game. Here we see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Oh, shit. oh dear. <laughs> Move faster next time. This is Charm, Mask of Holy Fortunes, Harvest Blade, Gambler's Jewel, Ring of Defense. Odysseus charm and get like a ton of food on this one. Yeah, the usurper. He keeps referring to the usurper. Alright, I'll see you later, Punker J. Have a good one. You get plus one food for every
me go for the uh, these guys. It'll be easier for me. Is trauma up. He did some good stuff there. Oh, friggin' the beat down with the hammers. Nice. Nice, that worked out well. We get some gold. Excellent. The Fabled Beast. Try to go for the huge success, but we'll see. Nice. Spare the dude, get a blessing. Bountiful gains! We get two gain cards. Actually, I think it's only for this level, which is actually quite shitty. Since we're leaving right now. Also, we lost, so that's great. Right? <laughs> Until you reach the next level. Pretty shitty time to gain that card. Although... I got 10 extra gold because of that. A journey forward. Hungry peasants. Three food. Oh yeah? Really? That'd be interesting, Emma Lord. The Maiden asks for supplies. The General Store, let's buy food. And buy equipment. Can't get Harvest Blade. Let's get the Mask of Holy Fortunes. And leave. Damn. Thanks to 20 gold guys, damn. Exploding doodads! Uh, have him restore all my artifacts, nice. You can see his charms now recharged. Treasure! The Harvest Blade, nice. Enter the cave and take the equipment. Uh, for now, yes, I will equip it, actually. The pendulum is ever-changing, and the challenges it presents change, Yo. too. The Goblin with the mustaches in the first game, too? Awesome. Uh, except to go along with them. Listen to their stories, listen to more stories, listen to more stories, ask where there are any of them have seen the ogre. Demand that he returns their stolen food. He wasn't actually stealing the food at all. Refuse to fight the ogre. Farmers leave and the ogre's like, oh, you want to play me in some games? Play a card game. Fucking A. Nice, equip that. Perhaps another game. Game manual dexterity. Great success. Alright, hmm. Perhaps I'm too lax for sitting in the forest uh, by myself for too long. Uh, here, do any of these interest you? Gambler's Jewel or Ring of the Feast? 
buy food whenever I receive a blessing. Actually, I don't know how often I'm going to receive a blessing. Let's go with the uh, game winner's tool. Perhaps another game. Play a game of dice. Of course, we just got the gambler's jewels. This is perfect. I'll actually just re-roll the one. Ask holy fortunes. Equip it. Again, Thomas suddenly out slamming his hand against the stone table. Do you think me a fool? You must be cheating. You get out, scoundrel. Tell these idiot friends of yours if I ever see them by force again, I might have you all for dinner, literally. Angry peasants. Friggin' eat, you damn fools. Journey. Camp. Hey, thanks for 10x life. Appreciate it. Corpse wagon. I think we attack them. You turn to meet your challenge. I think that you can actually like wait and see what happens. I'd rather just attack. Now I don't believe Odysseus charm or the axe works on this guy, so. Efforts will allow the few souls to remain in peace rather than share the fate with these bones you just vanquished. This town has been the uh -huh. home of much. It has changed over the years. Here's your token. You arrive in the town of Stigio. Um, Ari seems unenthusiastic about returning to her uh, home. Arthur, yeah. There is uh, not much to see here. Ari looks around the town center. Nothing like the city. We do have a fortune teller, though. She's great. Uh, so we acquired a mechanical oddity for poor Anders Forge. Uh, now we need a special pumpkin. Thankfully, my mother grows the famed Stigial pumpkins herself. Um, Stigial, uh, town center is unremarkable. Apart from a beautiful clock tower, a small cluster of tents tucked into a shaded corner from the hustle and bustle. So I'm assuming this is, like, the unlocked card you get at the end. Uh, let's visit the fortune teller. The fortune teller is, uh, withered with age and draped in gaudy fabrics. She barely registers your arrival at her stall. Who's there, she croaks. Ask for... Ari's fortune. She will die alongside a hero. A glorious death is her blessing. Ari nods her head. It's word for word what she told me, um, when I was a tot. Um, I won't kneel over, uh, pulling up turnips. Uh, I'm going to die, hero. Ask your fortune. Uh, imminent carnage. You are barreling, uh, headlong into imminent carnage. If you do not take care, the seer looks at you with pale, watery eyes. Everything will be lost. Ask for Borden's future. Borden of Fal Hollow, or Fall Hollow, uh, will be, uh, bring great peril onto his family, but they will forgive him as they have before. That is his curse. Turn to the town center. Visit Ari's mom. Ari's mother lives in a farmhouse in the fringe of um, Stigio. Uh, she is much, much shorter than Ari. Decidedly average. Her mousy brown hair is cropped short and her uh, thin face seems frozen in a mask of anxiety. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Ari's mother, uh, Bethel, clatters about the kitchen in a pained look on her face. Uh, ask for a pumpkin. Uh, her face tightens up. Oh, are you planning to follow in your father's footsteps? Oh, Ari, that's wonderful. No, I'm not, Ari frowns. I'm rebuilding the forge for a friend. Um, her mother sighs and leaves the room, returning with a pumpkin as round as a water barrel. Uh, that's the last of the harvest. A reward well earned. All right. Ask about Ari's father. Uh, calm ones over, uh, uh, calm comes over, uh, Bethel's face and she talks about her husband. My husband forged the armor of the Emperor himself. Um, I'm a hero now, Ma, Ari pipes up. 
uh, like a child who feels a tension slipping uh, to a rival. People are going to know who I am, and I'm going to die a hero's death. Don't say that, Ari. You're not going to die. Everyone dies, Ma. At least I'll be a, it'll be a hero's death, unlike father. Uh, Ardenay's mother, uh, Bethel, clatters around the kitchen with a pained look on her face. Return to the town center. Uh, approach the tents. Uh, a cloaked family in, uh, fervently huddled around a small fire pit as if, uh, worried, uh, that something would try to stop them. Uh, talk to them. Uh, the mother and father automatically step defensively in front of the soup, uh, pulling their children behind them. Offer to help. I uh, you... Will you order the Emperor to stop his, uh, push to the north? Can you stop the northerners from, uh, retaliating? Uh, the mothers returns the soup, tired, uh, of the conversation. Of course you cannot. You cannot help us. Wow. Ask who they are. The mother, um, cinches her robe. We are from the far, uh, we are from far water. But I doubt that means anything. Ardenay chimes in far water. Uh, that's where the great, uh, Carola River, uh, meets the sea. Uh, the father looks impressed and terribly sad. Yes, hero. The most beautiful town in the land. Uh, we don't know when we can ever return there. The Empire has taken our homes and set up war towers to push into the north. When will they stop? Alright. Leave them be. Arne shakes their heads. Those poor sods. Alright, let's leave. Sweet. Hey, Esparto, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, we're trying to unlock the questing mace and uh, parts of our companion's quests. Alright, stirring in the mire. Four shield guys. Five frost dudes. I'd rather fight the frost dudes. Alright. Aw oh, man, it's 7.30. Shit. I have to finish this level quickly because I have a tabletop game to go to. We found what we needed, so we just gotta rush out of here at this point. treasure. Well, that's assuming we succeed at rolling dice. Oh, thank goodness. Armor of gluttony. Uh, for now, I'll wear it, yeah. Alright, excellent. Alright, continue forward. Go to the next level. I'm assuming we just have to get that far corner. The wretched. Oh, gosh. I hope we get this. Okay, we get one that food back. Help. Of course, since we have armor of gluttony, we actually get two food back. Uh, give the child nothing. Hungry peasants. I'm probably going to have to fight them. Yeah, fuck it. Give me two food. I, I feel bad. Claim that I have no food. Turn your pockets, revealing no food. The mob disperses slowly. Oh, if you're honest Starvation about it, yeah, has interesting. Been the end of many adventurers. Uh, fight the Empire. see his charm and then I guess I'll have to change my equipment because I'm assuming this is the boss right here.
That should have actually been a lot of food. We actually killed a few people with the finish. Well, not the finishers, but the, uh, the weapon loot there. Yeah, nice. Holy crap, 11 food from that. Oh, one from two equipment. Um, give me a second. Alright. Continue, I guess. Not right now. Oh, I gotta go soon. I got a thing to go to. Alright, so I'm thinking this is the place. So I'm gonna go questing mace. Yeah, armor of gluttony's fine. That's fine. Alright, I'm hoping this is the last thing. There nice, is a here hidden we go. truth that every mage who dabbles in death. All right, here's the death mage. They work from fear, not power. Let's fear of the grave and what lies beyond. I know now that only life is to be feared. Death brings peace. <laughs> All right. Questing Mace. All right. Excellent. We actually completed a mission. Well, we completed the devil mission too. For the pumpkin, we get Terror Vein Ore. And for the necromancers, the, for the defeating necromancer with the Questing Mace, we get Questing Mace 10. Oh boy. Let's see what we need for the questing mace. Ogres, this is a perfect level. Fantastic. And then we'll just get a terror vein. Thanks, that should be good enough. Is there a reason I put St. Talia's Day in here? Anywho, cool. So we're all set for next time as well. So yeah, we'll uh, fight ogres. That'll be super easy on this level. Actually, how many ogres do we have to fight? Just one. Oh, the totally easy. Holy crap. All right, excellent. So yeah, we'll set that up for next time. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. I've got a half type of tabletop game. I'm a little late for, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for uh, a little bit more Hand of Fate. I might be able to start at 4.30 or 5 if I'm lucky, but the normal time is 5.30. And uh, then we'll go for, yeah, yeah. then we'll go for, uh, for Morwen. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. See you, buddy.